What is up everybody, it is Bourgeois here and today we will be discussing the feedback, filter, and stutter modules in the Helm synthesizer. Starting with the feedback module. The feedback module is essentially a quick delay line comb filter that's inserted into each voice. It essentially harmonizes with the note played and it's basically useful for changing and, and sort of modifying the timbre and the harmonics of a given note. To understand this module, we can break this down into three parts. That is the transpose, the tune, and the amount. First we have the transpose. The transpose changes the delay period by an amount of semitones. This will, this will make the feedback effect modify different sets of harmonics. Next we have the tune. The tune it changes the delay period by an amount of sense, which is one one hundredth of a semitone. This slightly modifies the effect on each harmonic. And last we have the amount. The amount sets the delay line feedback. Positive and negative feedback amounts will emphasize and reduce different harmonics. At zero, the effect is off. The farther from zero essentially the amount is, the stronger the feedback is. You can actually go and it's interesting, you can go in the negative direction. I'm gonna demonstrate what this sounds like using a single saw wave. So I'm gonna increase the amount in the positive direction. Now let's try those similar settings in a negative direction. I'll go from negative to positive. Next we have the filter module. The filter module reduces or boosts different frequencies in each playing voice. Each type of filter has different characteristics. To understand this module, we could break it down into six parts. That is the filter response, filter type, filter blend, filter drive, envelope depth, and key track. Starting with the filter response. The filter response section graphs which frequencies are boosted and which are reduced. The x-axis displays the frequencies and the y-axis displays changes in the loudness of that frequency. The slider at the bottom controls the cutoff frequency measured by semitones. You can shift the filter response up and down the frequency spectrum with the cutoff frequency slider. The slider on the right controls the resonance or gain depending on the filter type. The resonance will set how much frequencies are boosted around the cutoff frequency and the gain will set how much the frequencies are boosted past the cutoff frequency. Next we have the filter type. At the right of the filter, you can select the filter type. The available types you're given are the 12 dB low band high pass filters. You're also given 24 dB variations of the low band high pass filters as well as low band high shelf filters. Next, we have the filter blend. At the top left of the filter, you can choose between the low band high versions of the filters. The filter type is set at 12 or 24 dB. You can smoothly blend between the low band and high versions of the filters. If the filter type is set to shelf, you can discreetly set the low band and high shelf. The low pass filters allow low frequencies through, but remove high frequencies. The band pass removes low and high frequencies, but keeps a section. The high pass filters allow frequencies through, but remove low tones. The 24 dB versions of these filters have a sharper cutoff than the 12 dB versions, so they have a different sound essentially. The low band high shelf filters boost or reduce the low band high frequencies depending on the gain. Next we have filter drive. The filter drive sets the initial gain of the input to the filter. The more drive there is, the more distortion the filter adds to your signal in the filtering process. Next we have envelope depth. Envelope depth sets how much the filter envelope changes the cutoff frequency. If positive, the filter envelope will increase the cutoff, and if negative, it will decrease the cutoff. Last for this module, we have the key track. The key track makes the filter cutoff of a voice follow the currently played note. If zero, the cutoff remains unchanged. If 100%, every octave up you play the filter cutoff frequency will double. And if it's say at like negative 100%, every octave up you play, the, the filter cutoff will half. 
But the last module we'll be going over in this video is the stutter module. The stutter module samples a section of input audio and repeats it. This module can be understood in three parts. That is the stutter frequency, the resample frequency, and the softness. The stutter frequency sets how fast the stutter is, which sets the length for the stutter sample. Next is the resample frequency. The resample frequency sets how often a new buffer is sampled from the input for a new stutter. Lastly, we have softness. The softness sets a fade transition between the stutters. At 0%, there is no fade and will immediately jump to the next stutter, which may cause a discontinuity click. At 100%, each stutter is windowed by a sine wave and will fade in and out, reaching maximum volume at the middle of the stutter. So to demonstrate what this sounds like, I'm using a saw wave, a single saw wave again. We go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to increase the frequency. softness 